Well, when you have four boys and you sell strawberries as part of your business, the name Boys and Berries fits the bill. But what happens when the boys grow up and the strawberries get swapped out for pumpkins? Chris Burns takes us on the journey in tonight's In Business. To see the transformation of Boys and Berries, just like any story, we have to start at the beginning. The beginning takes place many years before the business even started. The beginning of a passion, and maybe not the one you'd expect. It wasn't really a passion for growing things, it was a passion for driving large equipment. We started out um, with hay, and we uh, pretty much did our own 70 acres of small square bales and round bales. Oh, well after seeing a cousin in Minnesota have success growing strawberries to help create funds on the farm, Nibby was inspired. So we tried two acres of strawberries and found out that um, a strawberry has a shelf life of two days and a pumpkin has a shelf life of two months. So it was an easy transition from strawberries to pumpkins. The name stayed, but the business quickly developed into something that could offer many different things depending on the time of year. And the nature of the business is we want to serve customers with locally available fresh produce, um, annual flowers, baskets, and uh, pumpkins for all the fall decorations you might need. Boys and Berries has the potential of growing 12,000 pumpkins. When competing with larger retail stores, they stick out by offering lower prices and a better experience. It's something different than just picking it off the shelf and putting it in a cart, because this is something that we like to consider um, starting traditions, and people are looking for things to do outside, and why not bring your family out here and take some photographs and make a memory. The last part is crucial for Nibby creating a memory. His youngest and the last original boy from the name of the business just graduated school and is off to Minneapolis to pursue a job. But the newcomers live up to the name as the company looks to continue its success. So it'll be myself and my brother and a couple of friends that work with us. So we've grown it to pretty much the place where we want to be. And five years, if we're this size and this successful and, and growing good things that people are looking for, um, we'll be just happy with that. Boys and Berries lives up to their motto of something for everyone and chickens to feed. Reporting in Brainerd for this week's In Business, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.